Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 22. And in this tutorial, I am going to start speaking to you guys about some basic string functions in PHP. Now, we're actually going to be talking about these string functions over the next few tutorials. Uh, but these aren't actually functions that we have to build or create ourselves. They are actually functions that are built into PHP. We don't even have to see how they uh, work or what the code behind them is. All we have to know is how, how to use these string functions, okay? So in this tutorial, we are going to be specifically looking at the string length function. And what the string length function does is count how many characters there are in our string and then return that value back to us. So let's start off by just taking a look at the syntax for using a function. And it's actually really simple because all you have to do is type in the um, function name, which is strlen, uh, which stands for string length. So that's what we're going to be using. And then we put in some parentheses. Okay, but this is still not complete because this function requires an argument. And the argument is basically the part that we put inside the parentheses here. And this is going to have to be a string because it's obviously the string that this function has to count. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in ahoy mateys because I watched Pirates of the Caribbean recently and I'm kind of obsessed with pirates. Okay. So we've got uh, string length, okay, which is counting how many characters we have here, but we're not actually doing anything with that value uh, just yet. So let me go ahead and just echo this out. And uh, when we do this, we should get uh, the final value of how many characters we have in here. Uh, so don't forget to end that off with a semicolon. We'll save this. Um, come back to Firefox now and click refresh. And as you can see, we have 12. So if you go back and count all of those characters, uh, we should get 12 as well. But just to prove it to you guys really quickly, we'll just put in one character here. So now when we go back and click refresh, we only get one printed out. So uh, the function does work correctly and it, it counts just how many characters there are inside our string. So that's actually pretty easy. Although I don't want you guys to get used to just throwing um, strings in here straight away like this. Okay, because in the future, when we learn how to uh, get data back from the user from a form or something, we're actually going to be storing all of that data in variables. So let's say I asked the user for their name. And uh, we'll just use Quinton because that's my name. Okay, and that off with a semicolon. Would rather throw the variables in here to check maybe how many characters their name was, like maybe we only want to have them put in a 10 character long name, nothing longer than that. Uh, then we'll use these functions to check that kind of situation. So let me go ahead and throw the variable name in here. And that is more likely uh, what we'll see when using these functions is we'll see the function with a variable inside the parentheses. So let's uh, save this now. And when I click refresh, I get, I get seven printed out. And that is because uh, my name has seven characters in it. And now there is actually one last thing I want to show you guys. And that is actually how to loop through every single individual uh, character in our string. Okay, so I'm going to create a new variable here called name underscore length and I'll set that equal to the string length of name. So we basically have a variable here name which holds my name and then name length which is counting how many characters there are 
in this variable. So obviously uh, this variable will change depending on what's in here. Okay, now what we can do is uh, start off with a for loop because like I said, we're gonna loop through every single character in my name. So for i is equal to uh, zero and while i is less than name length okay um, need to go back here and put in that dollar sign okay so this basically means that we'll start at zero and we're gonna keep going as long as our variable i is less than the length of our string okay which uh, means that this loop can change how many times it runs uh, depending on how many characters we have in our string so if I make this longer the loop will run more times and if I make that shorter the loop will run less times okay and then of course we're just gonna go ahead and say I plus plus because we're only gonna increment by one every time and now here is a little bit of a confusing part because we haven't learned how to print each individual character of our string out yet that is still going to be in a future tutorial but um, for now we'll just count each character uh, or we'll print out whichever current character we are on at the moment so i'm just going to go ahead and say echo um, i and then we'll uh, just depend on a break tag here as well so that everything appears on a new line <laughs> and I don't know how I missed that uh, there we go fix that cool uh, so now when we uh, save this we should um, start counting at zero and we'll count through all of the letters in my name so let's go back here and click refresh and we get zero three two six uh, printed out Okay, so now all you have to do uh, is carry on watching my tutorials and we'll learn about a string function where we can grab just the letter that we are working with at that time. Uh, and then we'll be able to print out my name. Instead of going this way, we'll be able to print it uh, one letter at a time uh, on each line. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.